All right, guys, I am out of the range finally with this upper from Pro 2A Tactical. So, if you haven't already watched the initial video that I put up on it, you can go watch that. Today, I'm going to get it zeroed, function test it, put some rounds through it. We'll kind of get a little brief overview of uh, what it's capable of doing. I've got a Primary Arms 2X Prism on it, so that's what we're going to be using for, uh, for sights optic on it so um, I'm gonna go ahead and get it zeroed after I get it zeroed we'll come back and we'll shoot a couple of groups kind of see what we're getting accuracy wise on it and uh, check the reliability so stand by and we'll be back in just a second all right guys got it zeroed gonna shoot a little group here real quick um, using some of the 55 grain Fiocchi uh, full metal jacket boat tail range dynamics ammo courtesy of Ammo Supply Warehouse. Make sure you hit them up. And then in a minute, I'll try out some of the Red Army Standard Steel Case 223. Not the most accurate stuff in the world, but just for comparison's sake. Um, and again, the range dynamic stuff is just that. It's range ammo. It's not match grade or anything like that. So it is hot out here today, like blazing hot. So the sun's keeping the gun hot. It's keeping me hot, obviously. So, let's get her on there and get a little five shot group for you. And as always, she's been locking back on the last round every time, so no problems there. Let's go down range and take a look. All right, guys, so one, two, three, four, and five. Um, again, I'm at 50 yards, so not a bad group. It's not match grade or anything, but you got to also remember, like I always tell you guys, that's me behind the trigger, so taking into account me as a shooter, I could be doing things to throw off accuracy, a better a uh, shooter might be able to do better with it, better eyesight, whatever. There's, it's not excuses, it's just factors. There's a lot of variables in your accuracy. Um, for example, I've got tons of burning sweat dripping into my eyes, which makes things a bit of a pain. So, I think that's pretty good. Um, I'll do another group with the, uh, the uh, Red Army Standard real quick. We'll see what it does. And then we'll do our minute of man at 100 test. All right, got some of the Red Army Standard loaded up. Let's put that through it and see what it'll do with me behind the trigger. All right, let's go check it out. All right, so those were with the Fiocchi range ammo. One, two, three, four, five with the Red Army Standard. So not a whole lot of impact difference of the point of aim, point of impact, a little bit lower, which that's to be expected with slightly lower powered steel case 223. But still, for again, steel case 223 ammo, um, that's, that's respectable. Uh, Let's go back to 100 and see what it does there. All right, guys, I'm back at 100. If you've been around any length of time, you know my criteria for a fighting uh, carbine. <clears throat> I want it to be men and a man at 100. If I can hit my steel at 100 with it, I'm good to go as far as I'm concerned for what I do and my uses, my situations, my terrain and area. So I've got five rounds of the Red Army Standard. Five rounds of the Fiocchi. We're going to 
try to put it on the steel and see if I can hold it steady from this far back and go from there. I yanked it on the last one. That was all me. That was not the gun. That was sweat in the eyes of me yanking the trigger. So, nine out of ten from a hundred with one screw up on my part. <clears throat> I'll take it. I think that works pretty good. All right, guys. So we've put some uh, of the Fiocchi through it. We've put steel case Red Army Standard through it. It's gone bang every time we've pulled the trigger. Um, got it zeroed decently for now. Uh, locks open every time. It feels gassed really good. It doesn't feel over gassed or anything. Uh, very smooth shooting. Um, I am running a H. H buffer. I was trying to remember if I had an H2 or H1 here. This is just standard H buffer. Um, that's what I typically run in, in these guns. So for a carbine length gas uh, with an H buffer, it's pretty smooth shooting. Um, again, it's been 100% reliable so far. Don't have a high round count through it yet, obviously, but we will continue to put rounds through it. Um, maybe in another week or two, we'll get back with some different ammo. We'll shoot it again for some more groups. Um, a, get the barrel broken a little bit more, and then B, again, try different ammo, see if there's something it likes a little better. But, I mean, when you can hit steel at 100 with it for a fighting gun, that's pretty much what, uh, what I want. So, we're going to finish it off real quick. She'll tag the steel every time. Plenty smooth. Pro 2A Tactical. Um, I'm liking it. I like it a lot. Uh, you're going to see more with this gun, and I might even be inclined to uh, to pick up uh, one or two others from them for some uh, projects and ideas that I've got that I want to take care of. Excuse me. It's blazing out here, guys. I am just ringing wet, running in my eyes, burning. So I'm going to go get out of the heat for a minute. You guys take care. Stay safe. Keep getting ready keep training and practicing i will put a link to this on the blog and there will be a link to the blog down in the description because youtube's retarded take care guys i'll see you later hey guys quick addendum um so i'm obviously back at the house and i just wanted to do this uh before i got the video up so i took the upper apart gave it a quick cleaning and just went over the uh, the bolt bolt carrier group, all that good stuff. Everything looked good. There wasn't any abnormal wear, nothing odd or you know to be of concern. Um, barrel looked really good. Um, in fact, I thought I saw what looked like a little burr in the barrel right around where the gas port was probably at. And I wasn't sure if that's what I was seeing or not. I don't have a bore scope or anything. But after firing it, it's not there anymore. So it could have just been a piece of trash or something that a brush wasn't getting out. But regardless, bore is perfectly smooth, shiny, good lands and grooves, all that good stuff. Looks like you'd want it to look. Um, <clears throat> as I said previously out at the range, gun feels good when it runs it doesn't feel over gassed um it was shooting the light red army standard stuff just fine and even locking open um accuracy as you saw was more than acceptable it's not match grade uh, at least not with that ammo uh, i will try to get back and take some of my regular uh Fiocchi and hornady ammo um, that I really like to use back and try it with that. I know for a fact that ammo groups really good in uh, most of my other other guns like this. So I will try to get back and do that. I 
it might take me a couple of weeks so you know bear with me um, and again I haven't got you know hundreds and hundreds of rounds through it yet but it has been 100% flawless of what I've put through it no I can't tell you how many because I didn't keep track my son was shooting at some I was shooting at some we didn't pay attention so I feel safe in the fact of two things all the rounds that we did fire it went bang every time with no malfunctions or no issues and number two at 100 yards I could easily hit the steel plate which for this type of gun is my personal uh, requirements so I would have no qualms about uh, taking this and go to work at it if I if I should need to go to work with it so again link the blog down in the description block At the blog there'll be a link to the upper um, as soon as I can get back to the range with it um, we'll, we'll try it one more time with the other ammo I talked about and I gotta tell you I, I like it enough that I have a couple more projects that I want to do and I'm kind of torn right now whether or not I want to get uh, another upper or two from Pro 2A or from somebody else. Um, we'll see how that shakes out. And the only reason I'm torn is because this has turned out to be another good option so far. So that said, there you go. I will report back more later. You guys keep getting ready and stay vigilant. As always, I will see y'all later.